In this video, we'll troubleshoot a weeping rotor. There are four potential root causes for weeping rotors. The PRS system, the control device, which can be either a solenoid or an ICM, the valve near the base of the case, or the top serviceable rock screen at the very bottom of the case. The first step is to turn the PRS selector stem from auto to the off position. If weeping continues, then we know it's an issue inside the case. If weeping stops, we know it's either through the control device or the PRS unit itself. Let's say that the weeping does stop when rotated to the off position. The first step is to tighten the PRS lock nut. This one is fairly tight already, so we know that is probably not the root cause. Next, we'll check the control device, the ICM or solenoid, to make sure that they're both tight. Hand tighten if needed. Do not use any external tools, such as channel locks. If the weeping still does not stop, then the problem is most likely the PRS unit or one of the internal components. There are several root causes for weeping inside the mounting surface, such as a damaged or missing O-ring on the seating surface. There could also be damage on the volcano, which is right in the center where the plunger sits in order to seal the control device. The PRS selector seal, also known in the field as the Mickey Mouse O-ring, could also be damaged. This seal sits at the bottom of the PRS selector cartridge. If it is damaged, scored, or cut in any way, it will need to be replaced. If it has moved out of position, it will need to be thoroughly cleaned and then reinstalled back into position. Let's assume that the weeping did not stop in the off position. In that case, we know it's happening inside the case. We'll start with the valve, where there could be two root causes. First, there may be damage on the valve seal. Firmly grip the piston to avoid damaging the diaphragm and, using the orange selector key, loosen and remove the cap, the universal filter, and the valve seal. The valve seal can be flipped and reused one time. After that, it must be replaced. When it is flipped or replaced, it should cleanly mount to the seating surface of the top serviceable rock screen. The second area that could have issues is the O-ring around the elbow on the valve. If the valve is removed often during maintenance procedures, such as flushing, the O-ring could get damaged, which will cause weeping. Weeping can also happen because of the top serviceable rock screen. There are two potential issues. First, the rock screen may not have the proper amount of torque following a maintenance event, such as flushing. This allows this O-ring to roll up, causing damage to the O-ring and preventing the rock screen from fully seating against the mounting surface. Replace the O-ring if this occurs. Second, if the top of the valve seat gets damaged, the valve will no longer be able to maintain a good seal, which allows weeping through the top of the rotor. In that case, simply replace the top serviceable rock screen. And that's how you troubleshoot a weeping Rainbird rotor. Thanks for watching.